Every year, Wichita is the only place in the country where the public can view the Academy Awards short subject films before the night of the Oscars. That's thanks to the Wichita Public Library and Sandra Kuntz. In fact, this is the 10th anniversary of this unique event at the Wichita Public Library, and they're celebrating with a big weekend of screenings and workshops. Sandra Kuntz joins us now with the details. And Sandra, this year there's going to be seating for 600. Used to be just a, a small group, so this is a big improvement. Right. We're for celebration purposes, taking it to the Mary Jane Till Theater in Century Two, and there are 600 comfortable seats and a huge screen. So you'll be able to see highlights too, not just of this year's nominees, but some of those in the past that have really been We're special. We're going to show almost 50 films in two days of screening, probably Wichita's biggest ever film fest, and it will be Wichita's favorites from the past 10 years as well as winners from the past 10 years. Is there one that is the favorite, a real standout? I think in each category there are a couple of favorites and there are three categories, documentary, live action, and animation. And of course usually when you're watching the Academy Awards you just see little snippets of these. So it is really a treat to be able to see them in their entirety. It is a treat Wichita. and Wichitans are the only people in the world that have that opportunity. How did that happen? Yeah, how did we luck out anyway? <laughs> Well, I had just always thought Wichitans would enjoy this, and so 10 years ago, I tried it, and I was right. They do you, enjoy it. You just it. called them up and asked? You oh, have hello, to. Hello, hello, Academy. Uh, no, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> you have to call each filmmaker or oh. their agent. Oh, my. Uh, anyone who owns the rights to the film. Each year, there are about 15 nominees, and each year, I figure I make at least 20 phone calls to get one film. To get one to film? Get so one you get film. a lot of oh turndowns. My. No, we've always no. managed to get the films, but you just have to convince them, you have to negotiate to make it possible. Just a lot of work, huh? It is a lot of work. Well, uh, tell us uh, why this uh, has been the only place, though. I would think that other places in the country, certainly, certainly in big cities, would have had the same idea. Uh, why, is, why is it just us? I think perhaps because it is a lot of work. The Academy shows in three venues. They show at the Academy in New York City and in London, but they show to Academy members only. Mm -hmm. Now other people throughout the world see them later, but Wichita's have the only opportunity to see them before Academy Award night. Mm -hmm. Exciting. So if you're a real movie buff or a real Academy Award buff, this is the thing to go to. And the dates again are? So, uh, Saturday afternoon, September 28, and mm -hmm. Saturday evening. Then we will also show Sunday afternoon. And we have workshops Saturday morning at the library. And it's first come, first serve, right? It is first come, first seated, that's right. What are the workshops about? We are going to have Patrick Stockstill, who is the awards coordinator at the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, uh, speak about an insider's view of the Academy. And then Hilary Rips, who is a co-owner of Chanticleer Films in Los Angeles. She's a producer of both feature and uh, independent films. We'll talk about a producer's role in filmmaking. It's funny you should mention Patrick Stockstill <laughs> yeah, because it just happened. what do you know? We have him on the phone right now. <laughs> we do. Let's. And we uh, could probably bring him into the conversation. Uh, Patrick Stockstill, as you mentioned, is the awards coordinator and historian for the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts, and Sciences. And uh, Patrick, welcome. Thank Hello. you. Now, were you surprised? I, I, you've known about this before because, in fact, uh, Sandra tells us you've actually been to Wichita before for this event. But originally, when you first heard about it, were you, were you surprised to hear that Wichita, Kansas, had this tradition? The first time I heard about it, yes, I was very much surprised that the middle of our country, uh, that they would be interested in, in the categories that uh, it seems like nobody else even knows anything about. And so I was, I was surprised and glad at the same time. Well, for the uninitiated, give us a little education here. How did the uh, short films get nominated for the Academy Awards, and what are the categories again? Uh, the, three, the short film categories are documentary shorts, uh, live action, and animated short films. And uh, the process is basically that films have to be made eligible for our competition by mainly by playing in a theater in Los Angeles, or in the case of documentaries, they can be in a theater in New York. Um, uh, the, uh, then there are committees that view all of the entries, and they then determine either uh, the nominations themselves, in the case of documentary shorts, or a short list of six to ten films, which then the short films branch uh, that handles the live action and animation films can then uh, come and view the, the finalists, you may want to say, before the nominations, and uh, they can then determine the, uh, the nominations by their voting. Now, as the awards coordinator, what do you do exactly? I essentially deal with the rules for those categories. Um, I also handle the categories of music, uh, writing, 
um, foreign language film, uh, makeup. Um, gee, what else do I do? And as, as I've heard the announce, also the Academy Historian. And mm -hmm. um, uh, as awards coordinator, I uh, coordinate the rules for the categories. I coordinate the screening committees. I coordinate the credits for the films on the films that we determine are eligible for uh, consideration for Academy Awards. You're a busy man. Uh, what determines what a short film is as opposed to, I guess, what we call a full-length motion picture? Uh, yeah, we have a, uh, we can call them features or shorts. The, the determination is strictly by length. It's uh, 40 minutes or less, including credits, we consider a short film. Anything above 40 minutes is considered a feature. So you're coming back to Wichita again this year for the big 10th anniversary celebration. Now, I'm just curious, do you have any favorites that are going to be showing at this year's event? Oh boy, um, I have a lot of favorites, yeah, and I don't know if we have enough time to, for me to talk about them all. I think I'll do that when I get there. <laughs> <laughs> will you be conducting one of the workshops? Yes, I will. I'll be uh, uh, conducting a, sh a workshop on the running of the Academy, how films become eligible, the rules, um, and then I'll be introducing the, uh, the documentary short sections and the animated short, uh, short film section. How oh, interesting. And what, how great to have you in Wichita. So you, you must think this is a pretty neat event or you wouldn't come back. Oh, I think it's wonderful. It's the only, the only event that I know that, that even uh, comes close to, to uh, considering the Academy Awards as a, as a viable uh, program that the library could represent. I think it's great. We have Sandra here on set with us. Uh, Sandra, you have any anything you want to talk to Patrick about while we have him on the phone? Hi, Everyone Sandra. in Wichita. <laughs> Hi, Patrick. Everyone in Wichita is excited, and we'll see you Friday night. I'm looking forward to it. Yes. Are there any ones uh, you talked about? Any favorites? Uh, have there been any animations or short films that have really stood out over the years that have gotten the attention that, say, an Academy Award-winning motion picture has gotten for Best Picture or something like that. Like a feature that. film. Right. Um, I think uh, one of the one that pops into mind right now, as you were just saying that, is the John Lasseter, Bill Reeves film, Tin Toy, which essentially was the forerunner to the um, feature computer animated film Toy Story that was out last year. Oh. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, just the techniques that it developed to create that film completely on computer, I think it's very amazing. So that film, Tin Toy, spurred on the making of Toy Story? That's that correct. Saying? And so did the, uh, did the people who uh, made that, that short then get uh, any kind of credits or... Um, um, oh yeah, well John that, Lasseter and Bill Reeves were the two people who received the Oscar for Tin Toy and then John Lasseter, just this last award ceremony, was given a special achievement award for his direction of the team that produced the, story, uh, the Toy Story. Yeah, that was my next question is, how about shorts? Are there any uh, directors or uh, producers or actors or whatnot who, who may have started out in shorts that mm -hmm. went on to, to bigger and better things? Um, Oh, the, you know, there's Steven Spielberg who started out uh, making a short film called THX 1138 that went on to, uh, to or excuse, not Steven Spielberg, George Lucas. And um, uh, George Lucas has done short films. Steven Spielberg has done short films. Uh, Robert Zemeckis, uh, the guy who just uh, won the Oscar a year or so ago for uh, Forrest Gump, he started out in uh, short films. Wow. Um, there, there really are. There are lots of people who, who start short films and uh, then go on to features. Are you looking forward to the 10-year uh, retrospective? Oh, it'll be a good time because I haven't seen some of them for, for a long time and I'll be glad to see them again. Well, we think it's great to, to, to have you back in Wichita and I know everybody will look forward to it. So uh, thanks, Patrick, for joining us. You're quite welcome. Thank you, Patrick. I'm excited to be there. Okay, we'll see you then. Okay. And uh, by the way, we have a still from one of the films. It's called mm -hmm. Bob's Birthday. Now, this was the winner for animation in 94. That's right, that right, and it is hilarious. It was one of Wichita's favorites. It's about a man who's celebrating his 40th birthday, and it's dangerous to give a party for somebody who's turning 40. Yes, I can, <laughs> I can relate to that. I can remember my 40th birthday, and it was quite dangerous. Was it painful like, as painful that? Well, it looked very similar to that, actually. Bob is the dentist. Oh. <laughs> Gosh. I well, would be the patient on the case I know, on your 40th birthday. birthday. Well, Sandra, thank you for joining us. This has uh, been fascinating. And let's remind the folks of the dates one more time and how they can get, uh, get in there and see it. This Saturday and Sunday, September 28 and 29, all of the events are free, courtesy of the Friends of the Wichita Public Library. It's a wonderful opportunity for Wichitans to meet people from Los Angeles and to see great films. Well, if it's free, you can't beat that. And it's all at the Mary Jane Teal Theater in Century 2. Now, 
you do need to register for the workshops. Yes, and those are at the library. And there's the phone number, 262-0611. And those are free as well? Yes. What a great, deal. Great, great. But again, no reserved seating, so be sure and show up early because even though there are 600 seats, you never know. There might be a lot of folks that want to turn out and see it. Can you bring your own popcorn? Or I think they're going to have popcorn there for can, sale. Well, great. there you go. All right. You got everything you, you need. That. For more information, mm -hmm. you can call Sandra at 262-0611. Sandra, thanks for joining us again. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, and congratulations to yes. you on 10 great years. See you there. Okay. So, <laughs> we'll be right back.